Hey guys, this is me Padma from Programmies and welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we will be learning about the multidimensional array and we will also learn to write the matrix multiplication program in C programming. So without further delay, let's get started. In the last video, we learned that an array stores multiple elements together. Similarly, a multidimensional array also stores multiple elements. The only difference is that the each element of multidimensional array is also an array. This is why a multidimensional array is also known as an array of arrays. Let's start with the syntax of multidimensional array. Here the array is of int type which means it can only store integer data. And ARR is the name of the array and 2 and 3 represents the size of the array. Here 2 means there will be 2 arrays inside this array and 3 means each array will have 3 elements. Now all together our array can store 2 into 3, 6 elements. Now let's see how we can initialize a 2 dimensional array. I'll use this same array. Now I'll first assign values to this array. So this array is equals to curly bracket inside this curly bracket another curly bracket with element 1 comma 3 comma 5 and in closing this bracket and another comma here and curly bracket here here is 2 comma 4 comma 6. These are the elements of first array and these are the elements of second array. You might think that this assignment looks different than the assigning value to a single dimensional array. It's because here we are assigning arrays, not individual elements. We have assigned two arrays and these two arrays has three elements each. Here this is the example of two dimensional array. And we can think of this as a table with two rows and three columns where rows represents arrays and column represents element inside the array. By the way, if you are watching this, there is a good chance you want to improve your skills in C programming. Lucky for you, we have a mobile app that provides a well-structured C programming course with certification at the end and you can use the app alongside the video to practice on the built-in compiler. Our course is free, so download now by scanning this QR code or click the link in the video description. Now that you know how to store elements to a multidimensional array, let's learn to access them. Remember array indexes? Well, the concept of array indexes is also present in multidimensional array. However, here each element is associated with two indexes. Let me explain this. I'll go back to my code editor. Here we have our earlier code. Now to access the first element, we use the array name and indexes 0 and 0. So array name with indexes 0 and 0. Here this first 0 indicates the first element of our array which is this array and the second 0 indicates the first element of the first inner array which is 1. Similarly, to access the third element of second array, we write ARR with index 1 and another index 2. Here this 1 represents the second array and this 2 represents the third element of the second array. Now let's complete this program. So I'll start from the basic structure of C program. I will now cut this part and I'll paste it here. And I'll print this both array. So I'll use printf statement. Comma. I'll cut this and I'll paste it here and I'll do the same for this array as well. I will now run this code. As you can see, we get 1 using this ARR00 and we get 6 using this ARR12. To get the idea of indexes in multidimensional arrays, you can refer to this image. 
We can also change the elements of a multidimensional array by using array indexes. Let's see an example. Here we have the code from our earlier program. I'll remove these two printf statements from here. Now suppose I want to change this value of 5 to 7 and the value of 4 to 8. Here the value 5 is a third element of first array. So we can use the index 0 and 2. So we'll write ARR with index 0 and 2 and I'll assign value 7 to this. Similarly, 4 is a second element of second array. So we can use index 1 and 1 and I'll assign value 8 to this. I will now add print statement here and print these both arrays. So percent %d, comma, arr with square bracket 0 and 2 and print f percent %d, comma, arr second array and second element. I'll run this code. As you can see, the value at this position is changed from 5 to 7 and the value of this position is changed from 4 to 8. Ok guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe. If you haven't already, let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Similar to an array, we can also access each element of a multidimensional array using a for loop. Let me show you. Here in our earlier example, I'll remove these lines of code from here. Now I'll write two for loop for bracket int i is equals to 0 and i is less than 2 plus, plus i. This is the increment expression and inside this for loop there is another for loop int j is equals to 0 and j is less than 2 sorry, j is less than 3 and we have increment expression. Here the for loop iterates two times from i is equals to 0 to i is equals to 1 to access the two inner arrays of two dimensional array. And the inner for loop iterates three times from j is equals to 0 to j is equals to 2 to access the three elements of both the inner array. Now inside the inner for loop, I'll now print the element at index i and j. So printf bracket inside quotation percent %d, comma, arr inside the square bracket i and j. I will now run this code. As you can see, the elements of multidimensional array are printed. Here the outer for loop runs two times from i is equals to 0 to i is equals to 1 and in each iteration of outer loop the inner loop runs three times from j is equals to 0 to j is equals to 2. Initially the value of i and j is equals to 0 so arr ij prints the first element that is 1. Now in the second iteration of the inner loop, the value of j is increased to 1 and the array ij becomes 0, 1 and it prints the second element 3 on the screen. In this way, the inner loop runs 3 times to access all 3 elements of first array. After that, the condition of inner loop becomes false, so the inner loop terminates. Now the program control moves back to the outer for loop and the value of i becomes 1 and again the inner loop restarts from j is equals to 0 to j is equals to 2. This time arr ij becomes arr 10, arr 11 and arr 12 which gives the first, second and third element of second array. To help you visualize the output more clearly, let me print a new line after the inner loop. So, print f 
I'll break the line here. I'll run this program and you can see the output is printed in proper format. Now that we have reached the end of this video, it's time for programming squeeze. Which value will we get when we print ARR14 from the following array? Comment your answer below. Also, if you want to revise this concept, you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository and the link is in the video description below. So see you in the next video. Till then, happy programming. <laughs>